Man, this was just such a great time. Is this the time I use C3's effect to get back Max C? Man. Wait a minute! What do you mean this has been seven years ago? No, you can't be serious. There's gotta be something about this. There's gotta be something new. There actually is? Huh? New crystal cards have been revealed for Supreme Darkness? The new crystal cards emerge? What? No, you ain't serious. This is great. Well, hello everyone. It's Actrius here. And I did not expect to ever say those words again. <laughs> it's time for another video. Damn. Yeah, I, I, I basically just woke up half an hour ago with two messages of, hey, Nico, there are new Christian cards. So is this your comeback? And honestly, I would have said no. I would have said no. But like, come on, guys. It's Christian. It's, it's been V deck eight years ago that made me really stick to Yu Gi Oh! for a while, despite everything else going on in real life and in the game. And additionally, with the uh, with the YTDC back then still being active, like those two things kept me in the game. Nowadays, I basically only play in real life. But damn, Christron, that that's that's a blast to the pla uh, to the past, friends. That is a blast to the past. Well, let's kick up some good old fashioned Toho music. and just read those new cards, because as we know, uh, let's make it a little bit more calm. Uh, as we know, reading the card explains the card, <laughs> so I've been recently getting into Magic the Gathering too, but yeah, let's just, let's just start reading. I only like skim through these cards when I just woke up, but let's be real, when, when you're just in the process of waking up, you don't really, you don't really read normally, you just, you're just like squinting with your eyes, looking like, Oh, what is this? I can't really read that. <laughs> I still can't believe it. But yeah, let, let's go. And we start our journey with Crystron Tristalos, a level 2 water machine tuner with 802,000 stats. When your opponent activates a card on effect, quick effect, you can special summon one Crystal monster from your deck. Okay, that was only a matter of time. Uh, except Tristalos, then immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro Summon one machine monster using that monster you control. Now this is interesting, let me let me check real quick in the uh, simulator of my choice. Because if I'm not mistaken... Oh, that, that's the... That's back on. If I'm not mistaken... Yeah. All the other tuners say that monster and this car. So now with the Tristalos, you can keep this Tristalos on board and make a synch and make a synchro summon with just the monster you just summon. So if that monster, like if you have a non-tuner on board and and this car, you get you can summon basically C3 from the deck, uh, turn C3 and the non-tuner to something. And if that summons out another non-tuner, you can then uh, and can quick synchro. You can then still go out, go ahead and make quarrying gun drags. But this, this is a big leap. But there's probably in the future or even already now some way to make this effect like keeping the Tristalos worth it. And second effect is you can banish this card from the graveyard, destroy one synchro monster you control, then special summon two crystal monsters from the deck. Also, you cannot special summon the, from the exit for the rest of the turn except machine monsters. This is this is the thing that all crystal monsters really have when they summon from a deck, so this is definitely fine. I am looking up uh, because this says you can banish this from the graveyard. Do we finally have banishment recursion? Is the question, or are we are we still basically locked into pot of acquisitiveness when we want to recur our cards? This card says he holds up at 1,000 less attack and defense than True King Barats of the Fathomer. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Since uh, the True Kings are somehow, like, somehow connected is, is, is a strong word. They are connected as like the nemeses of uh, the three other archetypes, Metaphor, 
Zodiac and Chris Strong. So, yeah, that's funny. Well, going on, we've got Chris Strong Sarfadol. Sarfadol? Sarfadol. Which is another level 5 machine effect monster right next to Solfefnia, which also. Like, which also references Sulfur. So, level 5 water machine with 1922 5. And if this card is in your head grave, you can target one Chris Strong card you control, destroy it. So, this time you destroy it first. Then special summon this card. Also, you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except machines. And if this card is normal to special summon, you can send up to two crystal cards with different names from the deck to the graveyard. Now, this is interesting because this is practically a one card infinity. Since you can just, uh, or rather a 1.5 card, you still need one crystal card to destroy. But if you have this in your hand or graveyard, you can just. Wait, let me stop myself here. You can just uh, pop this red crystal card, set this, uh, set this and Solfaf near. This burn searches literally anything. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't read the second effect yet, right? If, because if this is normal set, you can send two crystal cards with different names. Uh, yeah, you can send uh, Fistwind and Solfafnir, then, then Fistwind searches a Christopher card, Solfafnir discards it to special summon itself, and then uh, pops hopefully another card you have. And then you can just go ahead, make, make me infinity. That's, that's great. It's funny that this does not have a destruction trigger, but it does have a unsummon, which is really, really good. You can also... Yeah, actually, you can also uh, try to keep yourself Fafnir on the board after summoning it, and then pop the self Fafnir with the Suffet Hole, and then uh, chain those two effects, like the self Fafnir on Destruction and the Suffet Hole uh, on Summon. You still have a level 5 non tuner on board. You still uh, you, you get two cards in your graveyard, you get one card on the board, additionally, which, let's be real, could be another Suffet Hole. To then make infinity with and you're still pretty much off to the races like this opens a lot of new ways to build disruption while um while not necessarily making it harder for uh, to, uh, to go from a normal game plan this is probably a way in which you can make uh like the way i see it this opens up combo paths but this also opens up safety paths so like you can Definitely get Seven Dragon Infinity out on the fourth summon, which nowadays is very important due to uh, Nibiru being harder to out. But it also opens up many more possibilities, which uh, I definitely welcome. So this this card is actually really really good when you think about it. Like just just those two things. Like if there's, I already know that there's a continuous spell in here, which I think also had had a destruction trigger. So. That also pairs with that as well, and I think that was a automatic free off. But <laughs> this is like really, really good. Next up, we've got a synchro monster, Crystron Eliskeletas. Eliskeletas? Eliskeletas. I, I think I, I tell it Eliskeletas. Um, it's a level 7 water machine, which is a level that was, re that was furiously under supported but it was also a niche filled by fa don dragster which is in the gate so this has big shoes to fill uh you can only use the first and third effect once per turn the first is if it's got a synchro summon you can add one crystal card from the grave or banishment to your hand so this is our banish recursion i wish it was on special summon and not a synchro summon because this makes it a bit awkward so it's I have to go for a level 7 synchro to get recursion finally from the banished cards. Which, to be fair, now with uh, Selfed Hall, you would probably go through your main deck much quicker. So, this is a bit. Uh, this is this could be a. a, a how is it called? A double edged sword. Monsters you control lose 500 500, which is kind of a nothing burger. Like, sure, you're about to put it as. Uh, weaker monsters, but nowadays the stats aren't as important as the effects on it. And if this Synchro Summon card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one Crystal Monster for Grave or Banishment. So this, this makes things different again. So basically, what you say is, I could technically try to make Eliskeletas first. And I think... Yeah. Tristalos also works during your turn. 
I could technically make like let, let's let's play this through. My opponent activates a card effect. Like uh I I know I know I'll summon Tristalos because Tristalos is one of the best better normal summons in the deck. Now with that effect. Or I, I get Tristalos on board it's, uh, in some way. Now, um... Now my opponent uh, does something Well, I set up more. Like, Ash summon f um, Foolish. Tristalos triggers. I get to summon the South Bowl from the deck. Or a South Fafnir from the deck. I think a South Fafnir from the deck here is really good. Or just the South the South Hole from the deck. We go into Elaskelatas, and then um, Salvage Hole. I think in this case will not trigger because of new rulings, since it uh, leaves the field as fast as it got um, as it got got. But even then, uh, uh, like if it triggers, that's great. If it doesn't trigger, it's also pretty good. Because then we can just summon it, kill, uh, kill him out of Skeletus, which we just summoned off uh, Tristalos. And get the Sent to, and we can chain block that with Alice Skeletus, so we can get another summon of a tuner. Like from a graveyard, we're using this effect. We get to add one well, from a graveyard to the hand if we already have one. Hmm. I think there are applications here that I don't have in my head right now, but I think this is a piece that can see used, but it's not an end board. It is literally meant to be summoned and popped in the same turn. Is what I think. To like really make the use of the recursion here. So this is a mid-game piece that really wants to just go as fast as it can. And last up, uh, next up, we've got Crystal Inclusion, which is a continuous spell card. And we also, also have a tease of a continuous trap card here, which I haven't even looked at yet. Uh, you can only activate one card with, with this card's name effect, uh, with this card's name per turn, and you can only use a third effect of this card's name once per turn. Firstly, when this card resolves, you can add one Crystron monster from your deck to your hand, except Crystron Inclusion, which is already great. Like, let's let's play it through already. All right, no, let's let's read this first. Second, the first time each of your crystal monsters will be destroyed by battle each turn, it's not destroyed. This is kind of a nothing burger as well. It is annoying because then you, your opponent cannot just normal summon and swing over your tuner. And you can banish this cover on grave up and target one crystal monster in your grave and special summon it. Now, now we have a continuous spell, which is definitely a free off because it searches the monster. I already kind of teased it. Uh, Crystron Inclusion, okay? To really make use of this card, you need another. You, you need this and a way to dump a monster. So let's say you open a recycler, okay? Recycler dumps any crystal monster you think you need. Let's let's do let's actually do uh, the Tristalos here. It can dump a Tristalos because we know we're just going to summon it back. Then activate an inclusion. Inclusion gets you uh, uh, gets you the salvage hole. Now you have Inclusion uh, and uh, Recycle on the board with Suffered Hole on my hand. Suffered Hole activates and pops Inclusion because it needs only to pop a Crystron card. Sorry, a Crystron card. It special summons itself. Now we're locked into Machine, which is not a big deal anyway, because the only times we want to summon non machines are in our opponent's turn when we are not locked. We get that out. Um, this triggers and and this triggers. So we can chain link it in a way that we can basically summon any card of Salford Hall. Uh, any card that Salford Hall sends, we can uh, then summon with Inclusion since we put Inclusion as chain link 1. Chain link 1 Inclusion, chain link 2, Salford Hall. Um, send two cards. So in this case, since we already have a Tristalos in the graveyard, we probably send one more searcher. I would send Smiger. And I would send South Bethnir here. And if we send Salfafnir, we can then uh, summon it back, pop the uh, pop a scrap recycler if we want. No wait, we can summon it back using this card, right? And then we can already build a uh, then we can already build a summon infinity again. <laughs> the only doubt is that our Salfafnir is immediately gone, but like we already have options to 
make a synchro. We can summon back a level 2 tuner with Tristalos and just immediately go into FA Dawn Dragster since that's a machine synchro. And we have a spell to negate already, so we are basically imperm proof. We can uh, summon back literally anything else and make more things. Like, this is, this is already amazing. This is, like, already amazing. We have... I would have to map out real combos with this. But, as it already stands, this is insane. Also, with self at hold and Inclusion Existing, we can drop to one self Fafnir. Because... Uh, and with Tristalo... Uh, and with Aleskeleta existing too. Because we can just get it back. We don't have to run a second self Fafnir in case it gets banished by something. Or to just open it more frequently. We have the we have the consistency now. Because inclusion just searches any card you want. So uh self and hole just drops any card you want. And even Tristalos can summon any card you want from a deck and just summons any machine monster. So like you can also just Tristalos summon self Fafnir and go immediately instead of uh Aeroskeletus into FA Dawn Dragster and the spell game. Like this is already this opens already so many different ways to play the game, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Like this card, if if we had it back in 2016, holy shit, Crystal would go absolutely crazy with this, even back then, even without self at all. But this is a really, really good card. This is a 10 out of 10 support card. Like, for real. I'm really glad I still have my Crystal core, because this is great. I love it. And now the last card, it's Crystal Cluster. It's a permanent trap, a uh, continuous trap. Crystal cards of control cannot be banished by your opponent's card effects. It's a great effect. You can target one face up card of a field or up to two to control a crystal and synchro monster, which you always really want. Shuffle one crystal and card from a graveyard of banishment into your deck, and if you do destroy the target cards. Trap based interaction? Like I didn't read this card before. This is the first I read of this card. I, I already looked at all the other uh, all uh, on the other four cards. But I did not look at Cluster because I'm like, yeah, it's a trap. I really need to go to the toilet. I'll just come back and record the video. This is amazing. This is so amazing. No, but for real. But for real, for real. Uh, basically, you you have oh you always have access to Cluster through Smiger, right? So now. The first Smiger search does not necessarily have to be Impact, which is still running free off because Impact is a really good card to like have in your, in your combo. It's also a really good card to send off self at all to make your uh, place more available or uh, Impact proof since it does not need to send monsters, it only needs to send cards of different names. Like, you still run free Impact, one entry, I think. And then you just add one cluster. Or actually, you could play two Impact, one entry, one cluster because you don't really want to run five traps. But you can just search this off Smiger, and you have interaction, trap based interaction on your board. This is so amazing. And they cannot even, like, you, you flip it and they cannot even Cosmic Cycle in you on the, this face up card. Man. You know what? I think this is a comeback. I think this is a comeback. Because look, look at it. I was I was looking for a a rogue deck that feels like a deck like that feels like a me deck. I was looking for it for a extended period of time. And for all that time, I was looking for a fun deck. I never really found something that clicked again. Like I played Orcus. I played a lot of Orcus with different engines, but I'm always like, oh man, this is so bricky, this is so sad. I, I wish I had literally anything else. And now I'm just sitting here, looking at new Crystal cards of all things, and I'm just like, yeah, this is my deck. This is quite literally just my deck. I can come back as the Crystal Menace. Arcatrios is back on the Crystal grind, guys. I can't believe it. Yeah. So basically, what we learned here is I will now map. Uh, I will as soon as those cards hit. Any simulator, be it Omega, be it Ignis, I will map the hell out of this. And of course I will also watch the other creators that have probably better ideas since they probably stuck with Crystals for longer than I did because I was in and out of a game for a long time and also Harmonious took over when I played with Chris, uh, with, with Arcus and stuff. But not gonna lie, I'm happy. These cards are great. 
and I can't wait to play them. But this has already been 20 minutes of me gushing over new cards, and I desperately need to take a shower again at work, so I can't linger much longer. But this has been Arcatrius, I've been really happy to see these new cards, and see you guys probably in my next video when I map out some Crystron combos. Until then, I wish you guys a perfectly good day. Bye bye. Stay the hell ravened.